South Oak Cliff football fans will have to wait until after the first of the year to officially celebrate the school's second in a row 5A Division State football championship. A parade planned for Friday has been postponed because of the expected cold. Fox 4's David Centenary spoke to parade organizers and fans tonight about it. David. Yes, Steve, you might say the passion bucket of the South Oak Cliff community is just filled to the brim. People are excited. They are ready to celebrate with that parade following the second consecutive state championship in high school football. However, they're going to have to wait a bit longer because of those freezing temperatures. So everything has always just been subconsciously gold and black. Black and gold is a way of life for many South Oak Cliff High School graduates, even ones who graduated decades ago. 1994. 92. Now, graduates and brothers, Malik and Bismillah Muhammad, each have sons, both named after them, on the football team, a team that just won back-to-back -back 5A Division II state championships. In fact, Take it away, Manny Muhammad. Malik Muhammad Jr. had an interception for a touchdown during last Friday's championship win. No team has ever went back-to-back -back in DISD history. That's something that cannot be taken away from. Fox 4 was at last season's championship parade. This year's was scheduled for Friday, but it's postponed due to forecasted sub-freezing temperatures. The South Oak Cliff Bear family would have been out, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. We've been all bundled up. We're going to postpone it to January 7th. We knew that we had to make this decision very early. Parade organizer and community activist Dominique Alexander says a freezing temperature parade isn't ideal. The main important part is that we want our community to really enjoy and we want the maximum attendance. But but people are truly excited about this because they know what Sappho Cliff has had to go through, what that community at large has had to go through in order to get to this moment. Temperatures could drop close to single digits Friday. So while some fans say they would have toughed it out, you would have to just dress up, bundle up, and make it work. They're more than okay, waiting until it's a bit warmer because they believe the black and gold's accomplishment deserves everyone's attention. And it shows that when things are equitable, anything is possible, even in the inner city. Those parents we spoke with say the success of the football team is really just a tribute to those coaches who they fully support. As for some other Dallas ISD sporting events that are coming up, a spokesperson for the athletic department says they're looking at canceling some scrimmages for soccer matches that are supposed to take place on Friday, Saturday, but that same spokesperson says they're going to likely be canceling those matches and they're also going to be taking a look at what's happening on Thursday and Wednesday as well.